Hi there, I'm Hawk Tran, staff member of Business Partners, the Chamber for Uptown, and today I'm going to be talking to you about the Roots of Argyle mural. It's a depiction of different waves of migration from the last century, from the 1900s all the way up until 2000. People from Europe, from different parts of America, Appalachian whites, a lot of Southern blacks moved here, as well as Japanese people, and there's also a large Native American population that called Argyle and Uptown home. As we approached like the 1980s and 2000s, uh, there was a kind of a shift between Chinatown and the south side to here. After the onset of the Vietnam War, the Chinese population tried to establish as a second Chinatown. Uh, the end of it, there's a huge influx of refugees from Southeast Asia, including Laos, Cambodia, Vietnam, that called uh, Uptown home and they established businesses, they, um, you know, opened restaurants and create a community. Um, as you can see today, as you walk down Argyle Street, it is definitely Asia and Argyle. I remember going here as a kid. What is, oh, look at this old sign. Like, what is, what is Mini Tung Sa mean again? Oh, Mini Tung Sa actually means mini mall in Vietnamese. I am Jennifer Nuki Pham. I am the marketing director and co-owner of Mini TX Pharmacy, also known as Mini Tung Sa Pharmacy. We've been here for over 37 years. This is the first Vietnamese business on the street. When we first started, it was a hodgepodge of different businesses within one. In this space that we're standing in right now, it was not only a pharmacy, it was also a doctor's office. It was a video rental store, a music store. You can get your karaoke systems and all types of fun things. Families are still now coming here to this day. So the mothers and the daughters, their kids are just now coming here. So here we are at Viet Hoa. I think it's one of the oldest uh, grocery stores in the area. Like it kind of looks exactly the same. Also, God Mot Ngai Zupiak. If y'all looking for a job, they're hiring. When I met you, I almost missed you. If you want to start building your Asian kitchen, you could come to Viet Hoa and they literally have everything. If you like your spring rolls, you can make it yourself. This brand is especially good. Especially if you want to build up your pantry, you got to get all the sauces. Pad Thai sauce, sweet chili sauce here, sriracha. My favorite aisle, the snack aisle. Rice crackers. Oh yeah, this stuff, this is from Vietnam. Dehydrated jackfruit chips. If you're chubby like me, the snack aisle is your favorite as a kid. If y'all never had high chews, these are delicious. Bubblegum texture, but you can swallow it, you know? This is everyone's favorite candy growing up. Green peas, sriracha peas. They even got these little chairs like in Asia where you sit on the street, you know? <laughs> Eat. Nookie, what's your favorite vegetable? You're a vegetarian, right? So this actually smells like fish. It's a mint that you eat with like you know, or like an herb that you eat with like all the fresh um, Vietnamese food, but it has an, a fish essence, which is like really surprising. It's my absolute favorite. Yeah, you got culantro, mint, basil, Thai basil, holy basil even, which is like hard to find, but now I've, apparently they have it here. Thai chili. Oh yeah, here. This is uh, basically Nookie as a child, and this is me as a child. Sorry. Come to Viet Hoa, get your groceries for super cheap, and make a delicious meal. So here we are in front of uh, Chinese Mutual Aid Association. It is a community-based organization uh, that serves immigrant and refugees from, uh, originally from Southeast Asia. The way we help people is through direct services, including um, youth programming. So we have after-school programming. We have two teen mentorship programs. We have summer camp programs. We also have workforce services. We help people with resume creation, interview skills. We help set them up with our employment partners for jobs. We also have English as a second language classes and we offer citizenship and immigration case assistance, social services like helping people um, get Medicaid and SNAP benefits. Um, and we have our biggest program is our in-home services program where we have home care aides that go into the homes of elderly and disabled folks and help them with daily tasks. Um, such as bathing or meal preparation. For more information on Chinese Mutual Aid Association or any of the services that we offer, please visit our website at www.chinesemutualaid.org. Thank you so much. We're here at QIC, 
society is now. The second generation, uh, the daughter is kind of taking the lead and carrying it into the future. So yeah, you see there's a lot of stuff here, beautiful plants, we have cookware as well. So, you know, maybe we can go inside and take a look. Plants make your house beautiful. Uh, yeah, they got money trees. Um, Coco Chanel. Oh, this is where you can get uh, different cookware. You can have a wok. Get your wok, get your cooking in here. This one, these are the metal chopsticks. These are really great for um, if you're grilling. Both Jennifer and I, we have similar stories. Our families are both from Vietnam as refugees. They were part of, you know, kind of the growing Vietnamese community here. I think that both Jennifer and I, we are kind of carrying on that legacy of our parents, um, of what they've contributed to this community with what we're doing today. Jennifer is taking over her father's pharmacy. And, and for me, you know, I've worked for different various nonprofits uh, within the Argyle community. But also, like, together we actually do something um, outside of that called Hai Baya, which is kind of an initiative kind of nightlife, art, music, entertainment type of thing that is trying to kind of draw culture back within the second generation.